Hello, Starbucks lovers. It's me, Kelsey, and today I'm gonna to be trying out this makeup tape by Sephora. So basically what you do is just like stick it all over your face and it helps you pretty much just like a stencil to help you get that like sharp cut crease or like a contour that'll cut you. I'm gonna try it out today and just tape my whole entire face and see if it gives me that beautiful, beautiful beat. So stick around, let's do this. So let's start out with my lips, I think. I think I'm just gonna have to cut it up into a bunch of little strips. Okay. Am I pretty yet? <laughs> I'm trying not to smile because I don't want to ruin my beautiful tape. I can't move my face the way I need to to like be able to make my cheekbones come out, so I'm just gonna. Why so serious? <laughs> I look like the Joker. <laughs> oh, I guess I should rope off my nose too, right? Okay, let's hope that, <laughs> that these winged eyeliner things match because I can't actually see. I should have I should have waited to do my eyes until last. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. I, it gives me like an accent because I can't like move my mouth away. I need to to pronounce words. <laughs> so this is um, Revlon's Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner. I'll show the other eye move a little bit better. Ow, they kind of match actually. So now I'm gonna do my lips so I can actually speak. Can I use this Kat Von D liquid lipstick? I'm just smearing all over it and see if it works. It wasn't horrible. As you can see, my like, the bow is like kind of messed up because it's really hard to like fit that curve perfectly. But the, like, the under part of my lips looks really good, I think. I mean, I guess if you're, if you had like a little flatter lips, like mine are like very like curvaceous. If you had ones that were kind of like had less of a curve up here, it would probably be a lot easier to do and it would work really well, especially if you're like not good at liquid lipstick. So now I'm going to get a little contour on. I have this palette, the Beautiful Journey Eye Palette. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit of blush on top. I always feel like I look so weird and like pinky blushes. So I need like a good orange to match my hair. But today is not the day for subtle makeup, so. All right, so I'm gonna peel these off. Let me just blend it in a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna let me do the highlighter. Ugh. Ow. Ow, the nose is very sensitive, apparently. So the finished look is actually pretty good, except for my lips are still a little whack, but I mean, that was kind of to be expected. But the bottom line was still really nice. It kind of worked on my eyelids for my cat eye. Although it was not comfortable at all having that tape on your eyes. I would say contouring is probably the best thing to use this for. It might turn out pretty nice, I think. This cheekbone. <laughs> Thanks for watching with me and drop your comments below. I read them all, so tell me anything you want me to try and I will catch y'all next time. Bye!